Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Kid Icarus Uprising. In the last episode we did Chapter 16, The Orm Hive. In this episode, we're doing Chapter 17, The Orm Brain. The closing to the Orm chapters. And, to defeat the Orm, I see no better way than to defeat them with their own medicine. We will be using the Orm Palm, which in the last chapter you saw we got because we did not switch uh, rails when fighting the boss. So, the Orm Palm is really good ranged, but not that good with melee. Basically, its ranged charge shots charge up in one second, which is faster than pretty much any weapon, with uh, excluding a few. And its normal continuous fire is actually really strong too. In fact, I'd almost recommend using continuous fire because it's, I think it's actually more powerful than the charge shots. Not each individual shot, but say if you do a dash shot to the side, it'll do more damage than, say, a dash charge shot. Now, the the shots do increase in power as they uh, cover distance, but it's not that too big of a change, so it's not going to be a big deal, because in this chapter, all of the enemies are going to be really close to you, and intensity 6.9, that's really high. This is a really hard chapter, by the way, but I think I can do that. We'll just not move on to 7.0, we'll just do 6.9. Who cares? Let's finish the aura once and for all! Commencing underworld assault on the aura central nervous system! Children! Our final target is the brains behind this operation! The aura brain! Sun God Chiron on the scene now with added pyrocannon action! With all us gods of Chiron united, the aura brain doesn't stand a chance! It's kind of crazy! The Divinipedia is actually a real Wikipedia article. Uh, it's actually what I've been using to look up how uh, certain weapons work and uh, sometimes what the fusion options are for certain weapons so I can specifically go for that weapon in the shop or try to find it in a level if I want to fuse a certain weapon. So yeah, Divinipedia, it's actually really useful. It's a really good wiki. A couple of things are left out, but it's okay. Like, a lot of weapons don't actually have a lot of information on them. Time to take this space junk to the space dump. I just took that hit right there. So hopefully we shouldn't have too much of a problem with this. We actually have a mini-boss in this chapter, which is the Arm Brain. Why is that a mini-boss? And not the actual boss? Well, you'll see. As you can see, the continuous fire doesn't even let up when you're flying. It's really good continuous fire, I can't praise it enough. Should be just about done here. Of course, this is like the perfect distance for the arm palm, because it actually has a lot of range for a palm. It can reach about uh, 30 meters in training, I believe. Uh oh. Pyron? Thanks to you, Pyron has leveled up! 
I am now a level infinity epic super god plus ultimate power is now fire. What are you talking about? This is what I'm talking about. The arm troops changed color. <laughs> I'm pulling the arm strings now. Not even the combined power of the gods can stop me. Oh, snap. Poor Kitty got through. This might not be the best time to roast salt in the world. What kind of bad tricks an angel, Pyron? What? I can't hear you! Have any bright ideas of how to take them out? I suppose we have no choice. This is it. Our single remaining tool. Wait a second. Is that a reset bomb? Time to let nature take its course. This is out of control. <laughs> Who's awesome now, Pyron? <laughs> is that really all you've got? How could this happen? I hate to be the bearer of bad news. You'd think the captain of the of Palatine's guard wouldn't know how to read, but apparently not. Go ahead and line herself up. Ouch! Phew! I'm glad you're all right. But why did you save me, Veridi? I don't get it. There's nothing to get! Just shut your yapper and get ready to fight! By invading our land, the Aram have declared war on all of us. And with Pyron on their side, they've become even more powerful. If we don't defeat them today, we may not have a tomorrow. Ugh. Do you ever get tired of being such a nerd? All you need are 20-sided dice and some thick glasses. My X-ray specs allow me to see your ignorance. Yeah, yeah, enough of the lame comedy routine. It's time for us to strike. All right, so confession time. I was while I was recording this episode, the cord of my mic unplugged uh, right when we went on to these this uh, ground section, and I lost all of the commentary from then until a little bit later into the level. But as you can see here, uh, which no, of course that means this is post commentary right now. But as you can see here, the entire ground section of this game of this chapter, not this whole game is going to take place on these tiny platforms that we're going to be standing on that are carried by our allies. And that kind of means it's a little bit harder because now that we're not focused on um, on moving around and taking cover, which we don't have any cover, they're going to be throwing more at us because that's all we are going to be focused on is en enemies. And this isn't even the hard part of the level. Like, this chapter later on gets a lot harder, and it's going to be a bit of a challenge, and I, if I remember correctly, I don't die, so that's good. And by the way, you're going to want to kill all of the enemies that you see in this first section of this level here, because later on you will get a item for it. That will help you out immensely, and I accidentally zoom in here. Yeah, you can just dash to get out of being zoomed in. So that boom spear there, that's what you get if you don't knock out all the enemies, and you will get to use it on this doze right here, which has a ton of HP, and you do not want to deal with that, trust me. Shoots tons of lasers at you as well. I'm not sure when this chapter actually transitions into the hard part of the level, but 
Oh, hey, we got a laser staff. Normally in this chapter, you don't get that many drops at all. And I, at the end of this, I believe I get, end up getting a bunch of a weapon, a bunch of powers at least. That Lancer Staff, I think, is the only weapon that actually drops. That loot. Oh wait, does uh, I didn't I didn't catch that um dialogue the first time I played it. Does uh, Pyron consider us an equal? So yeah, from the very beginning, I'm not sure if I actually said this before because I don't remember what my commentary was before it popped out. But from the very beginning, this is why Pyron knew so much about the Orum on Divinipedia. Because uh, he wanted to find out how he could, I guess, level himself up through it. And sure enough, it worked. Push us out of these two sandwiching, sandwiching ships. What weapon was I? Oh, I was using the Orum Palm. Yeah, I've already recorded like another two episodes after this, which is why I don't exactly remember. Should always be rewarded, which is why I got a present for me to destroy you. It's pyroblaster time. So this laser will actually hurt you. You're going to want to stay in the middle of the platform so it doesn't hit you. Oh, I can't say the same for my troops that were carrying your platform. I feel terrible about this. Our forces as major allies made the ultimate sacrifice, but there's no point dwelling. I call for backup. Whoa, whoa! Centurions? Phew, that was close. Glad to see you're safe, Captain. The Centurions are in way over their heads. They mean well. They're just not very effective. Pretty harsh words for your own troops. Pull them out! I don't want them to get hurt! Then how do you plan to make it to Pyron? I'll think of something! We live to serve, Captain! Your mission is to defeat Pyron and eliminate the Aram forces. We dedicate our energy and resources to helping you reach that goal. Okay, okay. Then charge, soldiers! So, this is where the hard part begins. If both of these soldiers are knocked out, you will get an instant game over. So you're going to want to stay mostly near the front of the of the rock they're carrying, so you can take out anything that's trying to shoot them, because really, you're not the one that's at danger of dying here. It's them, and they have so little HP. And there is actually a challenge for having none of them get knocked out. I don't make that challenge in this ep in this uh, attempt. I will do it later, though. But uh, you have to have it at least a minimum of intensity 5 for that challenge. So I'll probably do that when I'm doing this on exactly 5.0. Because right now it's at 6.9. So yeah, you'll see me just like staying near the front, shooting whatever appears to be at all a threat to them. And of course I go back here because that fireworm, if you let it live, will pretty much instant kill both of the angels that are carrying the front. Because it'll just run straight into him and knock him out. So you're going to want to focus on that. And at this part, I think I think it's the wrong part. There's actually some walls coming up that you're going to want to knock out because if you don't, they will automatically knock out one of your angels. So you're going to want to aim for the middle weak point. Just like use your continuous fire. The Orm Palm can do it with its dash attacks. Now we're going to have some lasers that you're going to want to dodge with the jump pad on the back of the platform here. The first one you have to jump straight over, or else it'll hit you. It won't hit the the Centurions for some reason. Now there's one tilted to the side, go to the right, and the third one you're going to want to jump over as well. There you go. And, okay, that pause means that's where I re re that's where I realized that um, I wasn't recording. So, back to not post-commentary. Alright, so apparently after he started the on-land section, my mic unplugged and that's all going to be uh, post-commentary. But glad, a good thing I noticed it halfway through. Stop shooting my people. Hopefully I explain everything that I explained in this recording in the post-commentary, because I've been talking for no reason for the last, like, ten minutes. 
There was a treasure fish there. Stop it. And they took him out. Oh my god, there's so much. Oh my god, there's just lasers everywhere. Enemies that I have to melee. Jeez. Well, just barely didn't make the, uh, keep both of them alive. Luckily, we only have to do that on intensity 5, so anytime I want to, I can bring my flintlock staff or something into this and use that against these enemies. Stop that. Here's another power. You stop. Tre another treasure fish. Melee enemies. And here's a boom rocket, so whenever we have tons of enemies, just throw that down. Or I could just throw it down now when there's literally nothing. Okay, I should destroy these at least. Boom! Get wrecked. Alright, what else do we have? Oh my god, I should have used it on that. That was a miscalcification there. And I'm getting shot by lasers. And he's dead! So, yeah, there is two more Centurions. You actually get four to work with. And I believe that was actually literally the end. Oh my god. Alright, so now we're going into the battle. By the way, this binary you're about to hear translates to kill. What are you doing? Are you really controlling the arm, Pyron? Or are they controlling you? I I I will not be controlled! We will not be controlled. Oh boy. What's he got in himself into? It's just as you suspected. The Aram brain has overtaken Pyron. Intruder must be purged. We must consume all. Just like bugs, the Aram are powerful as a swarm. They're not very powerful. They're like moths drawn to the flame of battle. They live only to consume and destroy like hungry moths. We will multiply. We must be all. Oh my god. I actually absolutely destroyed him. There was some really good some really good stuff in that fight, but I killed him before it could be said. Whoops. Alright, so notice how that chapter didn't even actually have the obliterated screen. At least I don't think it did. I must have, like, skipped over it real quick, though, if I did. Um, pretty good right here. Some good defense. A lot of side dash charge shot damage. In fact, a lot of side dash everything. Normally you don't get no like, at all this many powers. I'm not sure why I did. Defeat 280 enemies and clear this chapter. Ooh, that's good. I won't have to do that again. And clear the chapter in 18 minutes. Wait. How long is this recording? It must be pretty short then, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, now that we've done that, ugh. I'm sad that I didn't, uh The recording just cut out because I think, uh, I think my mic unplugged partway through because it had seven minutes of recording and then I just noticed, hey, why did it stop? And sure enough, I plugged it, it like I just wiggled the cord of my mic and it just started working again. So, yeah. Sorry for the post-commentary in this episode. Do we have any idle tosses? 
Whoa, that's a lot for a 18 minute chapter. Here, we'll put the blue in the normal, and then we'll put the normal in on its own. We got a blip, apparently that's what that's called. Also, we don't have to deal with Orm anymore, that's nice. And we got a Hudra head, which apparently we didn't have. Okay, so without further ado, in the next chapter, we did, we did chapter 17, okay. Chapter 18, The Ring of Chaos. This actually starts some of my favorite chapters in the game. It's not my absolute favorite chapter in the game, because that's later on. But this, this arc right here that we're about to go into, I love it. This is a really good chapter. So, see you all in the next episode, and goodbye.